Sarah Nicole and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you this Wonder Woman pop art inspired by Nikki Tutorials. It is my first look or video like this. I have done a lot of Halloween stuff but only on Instagram. I haven't actually filmed this. My first video that I'm going to be posting uh, doing something like this. I did a Wonder Woman last year but it was not pop art like this. So I hope you guys enjoy. I haven't been on here. I just wanted to say uh, thank you everyone who has been watching and like staying tuned. Uh, I haven't really been posting and filming in a long time. I'm still not done with the 100 days of videos. But I just wanted to say thank you so much. And let's get on to the video. Sorry my loves, this is my first video like this, so I'm quickly going over my eyeshadow makeup. I will be leaving what I use in the description down below. I'm currently using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And then as you see now, I'm going in with the NYX White Liquid Liner. This is kind of to add that eye effect to make the eyes a little bit whiter. And then I'm going to go back in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. You're going to see me going through this quite quickly. Now I'm going to take the Morphe M508 brush and put the brown all over the bottom. And then the uh, Icole in Costa Riche by MAC and the Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm going to take Coco Lashes in Goddess and place them on my eyes. It looks so cute. And now we're going to take the Oh So Perfect Mask MAC Cosmetics in Blush in Melba. This is literally my life. And now we're going to take Ofra's Highlight in Rodeo Drive. And we're going to place that all over the cheeks, girl. Well, at least in the high points of the cheeks. And put that all over. I just love to douse myself in highlight. I really think that highlight really makes you pop. And I am currently using the Morphe M501 brush. I used to use the fan brush, but I prefer this one now. So now I'm going to take MAC Cosmetics He Said, She Said in the Prolong Wear Lip Pencil. Uh, I really don't wear anything of the, if I don't wear a lipstick unless I have a liner on and the MAC liners are amazing. Now I'm going to take the MAC Cosmetics uh, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Fashion Legacy. This is a very bright red which would be good to pop and make everything stand out when we do the pop art. And now we're going to take the NYX Professional Makeup SFX Cream Color Face and Body Paint in black and a lip pencil or a lip uh, brush, if you will. I got that one from e.l.f. It doesn't really have a name, I don't think. But what I'm currently doing is I'm currently lining out the outside of my lips so then we can go and blend it in after. So here you're going to see I'm kind of wiggling it back and forth to make sure that it blends in. And it doesn't have to blend in perfect at first, but as you go little by little, you start perfecting it and fixing out and adding more black to the ends and blending it in a little bit more. And as you can see, the process. If you guys want me to make a video just on how to blend out your lipstick, 
please let me know in the comments below and I will be very happy to do that for you. So blending is, it takes a while. Blending usually is the longest part of any makeup look in my opinion. But it's what really stands out from the rest. So little by little I am blending it in and then adding more black to the outside. Yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes I get out of focus or I get out of camera and I'm just all over the place today. But yeah, so I'm adding a little bit more red because I thought that the blending wasn't really popping that much. And so I love to make my little faces as you can see. So blend. Oh, here I am cleaning up the lipstick. Uh, and then I'm adding a little teeny bit of that tattoo liner because I thought I needed a sharper line to the ends of the mouth. And the brush that I was using wasn't really doing that effect for me. So I'm adding it a little bit more. And now I'm going in with the NYX White Liquid Liner in the color white. <laughs> white Liquid Liner called white. So now what we're doing is we're kind of making certain parts of the lip pop out a little bit more. Since we are doing this pop art Wonder Woman effect, we are making sure we have what really glistens we're making it white so you know how sometimes there's certain parts of your lips that shine more than others this is where uh, we would normally add in this white to kind of make the effect pop more I feel like I'm gonna say pop this entire tutorial watch out so yeah so i'm just adding in little by little this is my first tutorial where i'm doing a halloween makeup look so please bear with me i will get better with time here i am adding in a little bit more i'm using this brush that i got from uh michael's and I am currently starting to outline the shadows, where the shadows would normally be. And little by little, I'm just outlining it, making sure that the lines pop out a little bit more. Trying to keep a steady hand. Uh, I am currently using that brush along with the SFX Cream Color Face and Body Paint by NYX in black that I used earlier. And I'm trying to go back and forth because I am currently looking at <laughs> the Nikki Tutorials video. So I'm going back and forth in adding the black and at some point, it does end up looking a lot better. When you first start it, you feel like it looks horrendous. But as it really goes on, and now I'm kind of like adding little streaks to my eyebrows. Because then uh, we are going to go in and outline parts of the eyebrow, the ends and whatnot. See, like we're doing right now. We're going to outline the bottom so it really makes it stand out. I mean, my brows are brown, dark brown, but this, what this does is it does really stand it out. If you want a better reference with lighter features and lighter brows, you can look at Nikki Tutorials. Uh, I will list her stuff down below uh, and the link to the video I am currently using as reference. So you can see uh, a different kind of look. 
I wanted to do my version of it, which is very similar, but it's me with darker features rather than her that she has very soft and lighter features. So I'm going in, I'm literally outlining my brows and making sure they pop. And now I'm adding my little streaks, fixing up my brows. I need a little bit more excitement into this. As I practice more and as I get more into it, I will be adding more excitement to my videos, I promise. So I am making the line. Uh, I decided to add that pop. I don't know why I added that pop earlier than normal. But now we are outlining the, um, the jawline. I accidentally went a little bit higher than I would have liked to do it. Uh, I did mess up a little bit, but I decided, uh, might as well go with the flow and not stress out about it. Because the more you stress, the worse it becomes. That is the biggest rule of makeup. The more you stress about something, the worse it'll be. So I try to take a chill, not stress it too much, and just go with the flow. And I'm still adding a little bit of lines here and there. And the highlights, add in that white to make the nose pop a little bit more. And now I'm outlining in black the tiara head P, headband piece. I don't even know what it is that she wears, but I'm outlining it in the black NYX SFX cream color with uh, that same brush from Michaels. You know, making sure the lines are dark because you don't want a light line. You want that to pop because it's pop art. <laughs> so it pops. <laughs> I am so silly. And it's currently, I'm voice overing this at 1140 at night and I woke up early this morning. So bear with me, my loves. Oh, sorry. Thank you. So, I'm currently going in with the NYX Professional Makeup SFX Cream Color in yellow. Face and body paint in yellow. It is number three if you needed a number. So, I'm going in with this, like, random flat brush that I had there. It is no brand. And so, what I'm doing first is placing the NYX cream color in yellow first and then I'm gonna go over it with a highlight. I found that this made it the gold that I wanted because the way that Nikki Tutorials did it I didn't really like it as much as I would have liked and so I decided to do my own concoction of what I feel Wonder Woman will be wearing. At least pop art Wonder Woman will be wearing. So then I get Sleek Cosmetics, the Cleopatra's Kiss. And I get the top left hand of uh, the palette. And I use my Morphe M501 brush again. And I'm literally placing this all over the yellow. This is what I should have set the yellow beforehand. But this is technically what I'm using to set because um, the Cleopatra's Kiss, the one I'm using, is a powder. It is not a, a cream as two of the other ones are. So, and this is the one that I don't really use too much. And now I'm getting a star that I got at Michael's essentially like last year. And it's a little glittery and I'm just sticking it because I was too lazy to draw it on. And I wanted something that popped a little bit more. And so there you have it. So that concludes this uh, pop art Wonder Woman makeup tutorial. 
inspired by the amazing Nikki Tutorials. I need to fix up a little thing, but hey, okay. doesn't look that bad for my first time. Woof. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos. See you next time. Bye.